Well, you know, here we go. This guy is a liar. You should be scared if you stay as a Muslim, not the opposite. It's just to prove it in front of you, this guy is a fraud. So if you are scared, you should leave him. Because obviously he is not going, he cannot save himself. This guy, he will end in hell like, like crazy. This guy will burn for hell like, he, he will be punished severely. For he must leave billions of people. Do you want to follow a deceiver, my friend, Osman? What do you think, Osman? Uh, Remember, you are uh, the one, you are the one who it, made the challenge, it, so that, I'm, I'm expecting you to say yes, I'm out of Islam, because this is a promise of a man, and you are a man. Uh, it, uh, uh, look, what I'm reading, and um, from from from, uh, from my understanding, it, it's it, it's bad. Okay. It's and um, it's not bad. It, it, it it's like I don't understand it. Just because I don't understand something doesn't mean I don't know. Hmm. What do you, I mean? What do you mean? What do you mean to understand? And you are the one who says to me, "It's obviously he created the earth first. It's you who said to me, "Open the gelatin, we open the gelatin." It's you who said to me, "Let's see Abri Kathir, we saw Abri Kathir, and Abri Kathir he says the earth first, and etc." So everything we're showing you, not even me saying to you, it's your scholars and the one you choose. And you are the one who mentioned to me in Burji. So we showed you what in Burji says. And you are the one who, when you call me, you and text me first time. Do you remember what you said to me, Mr. Israel? Like you are so angry from me, you call me Mr. Israel. One minute, Mr. Israel. One yeah, minute. the reason. Yeah, yeah the reason. I, I, the no, reason why don't I worry, said don't worry, don't Israel. Worry. I don't care. No problem. But now, I mean, you are calling me to get me busted. You are so angry from me. And did I lie to you? Anything I said to you, or I'm showing you on the screen everything? No, you're showing everything to me on the okay, screen. So, it's not a lie. Okay, so it's not a lie. So, my friend, it's time for you to be the man. You call me. To, okay. to, you call me to fight me. You call me too because you're angry from me. I understand, no problem. But everything I showed you is from your books. It's a stupid. It's not fit for a man like you to believe in such a stupid thing like this. For the sake of respect of yourself, you better leave Islam immediately. And you know, I, I'm getting nothing of this. I mean, what are you? You convert? You don't convert? Who cares? I mean, this is your salvation, not mine. I don't even know you. You don't know me. But it doesn't make any sense. Then how could the prophet be the me the best of mankind? Did they lie to you? He was the I, best. As you see, what the be of best of human. what is the best of mankind? We just showed you. He says, "Go attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls." Is that what the best of mankind says? Is that the best? If your neighbor he says to you, "Let us attack the Uthman because he have a blonde daughter." With my respect to your daughter, is that a, is that the best? What he do? Hey, let us attack Uthman house. He have a blonde daughter. What kind of best is that? Because you know the prophet, he was poor. He lived in a small house, but the house doesn't even My have friend, a door. He was poor. He and look what he poor, did. Like, look what he did. He married a woman. She is way older than him because she is rich. Is that true? No. It's what did you know? Khadija? Khadija, yeah, she was in the age of his mother, and she is very rich. And he used to work for her. And, and we knew that Arab will not marry people they are yeah. older than them. Why he marry her? She's older than him. Yeah, she. She was, she was a wealthy uh, uh, business. Exactly. Owner. So he married her because of the money, and he did not marry any women as long she's alive because she will kick him out. She is the owner of the business. The second she died, he started jumping from woman to a woman. What happened? When he was with Khadija, he was behaving. He did not marry any other women. The second no. Khadija, uh -huh. all, no, no. He, all the he women didn't, he married. He didn't, he didn't. Uh, uh, Uthman. All the women he married after Khadija. And let me ask you, how he married Khadija? Sorry, I don't know how he married Khadija. Is it, I don't is it, know a, the, is it, is it a true? Story. Okay, is it a true that he and Khadija they made the father of Khadija drunk? So 
So the Prophet Muhammad, uh, he made the uh, Khadija's father drunk. Exactly. So he can approve the marriage. Yes. What do you think about this? Uh, no, that, that can't be. That's not true. Okay, if this is true, what not true. Do? if this is true, what we will do? It's not true. It, it can't. It's not true. My friend, if it's true, if I can show you now reference approved by your Islamic scholars, what you would do? You know me. I don't say things just to say things. But at that time, uh, like. Oh, I don't know what to say. So he, the Prophet made Khadija's father drunk just to get... Khadija, with the agreement of your Prophet, they made the father drunk and they did not convince him to get to, to marry them. No, they lied to him. So they made him drunk and then when he wake up, before he wake up, they changed his clothing and he said, why am I wearing those clothing? They said to him, oh, because you did marry me uh, to Muhammad. He said, no, I did not do that. He said, no, you did. And this is how, and then he, he took his sword because he was so angry. He says, no way, I'm going to let someone like Muhammad marry someone like you. And this is telling you that Muhammad was not respected as they claim. So when, when this happened, Khadija, she said to him, are you going to make everybody laugh at you? They will say that you made you drunk and, you know, we fooled you. Aren't you afraid the Arab will make fun of you for the rest of your life? What kind of a prophet, he start his life by such a thing? Oh, man. What do you think? That's that's not right. That's not right. So how decent he is. How good. If this is how he started his life, by a fraud. But how can he use alcohol? Is, is haram. It's forbidden. The Muslim, they will say to you at that time, it wasn't haram. Because Muhammad wasn't a prophet yet. So we find a solution. Here we go. But still don't want to change anything. Muhammad is a fraud. Even his marriage was by Khamar. The best thing he did in his life supposedly is marrying Khadija because if not her, he will not become a prophet because of her money. He became a prophet. Okay. That, that's kind of true because Khadija, uh, she spent a lot of money for Prophet Muhammad's cause. Exactly. She's the one that convinced Exactly. The prophet to continue his prophethood. Exactly. So now, the Khadija she. So now we understand why Muhammad he married her. For the sake of her money, and now we understand that he is an evil man, because if he's a decent man, even if the wife she said, "Let us make or my father drunk and lie to him and fool him to marry me to you," he should say no. That's wrong. Correct. But Prophet Muhammad, he was with Khadija until she died. Uh, he was uh, with her till the very end. Because she is the one who owned the business. She will kick him out. He will not inherit the money. He didn't dare to move. He used to work for her, remember? So she is the one who owned it, and he cannot do anything. So when, he, when she died, he got the money, inherited everything. But now the topic is, what kind, uh, uh, what kind of a woman and what kind of a man he do that to his father-in-law in order to become his father-in-law if this is how you start your life <sighs> what do you think It's not a good way. 
Okay, so what does that mean now? You know, it's not a good way. Is it? Is it a? a, a is that how a person? Is that how a person who claimed to be a prophet of God to do such a thing? This is the, this is a person who is supposed to be because the best. he is the best of mankind, right? He is the best of mankind. Yeah, he he is the best of mankind, okay. and we should follow his so um, how the best of mankind his examples his life. Okay, his how the best of mankind he do such a thing. I don't know how to explain it. Hmm. Until now, by the way, you did not ask me to show you the reference. Don't you want to see it? Look like you are convinced I don't lie. Because no. in the beginning you were so upset and you want to see and you know you don't believe. You know? What if I show it to you from the book of Ibn Kathir? No. This is the no, book. because I heard I heard about this story before. All right, this is the book of Ibn Kathir. But I didn't know it. This is the book true. of Ibn Kathir, Uthman. This is the book of Ibn Kathir, Al Bidaya wa Nihaya, volume number two, page number three six one. Even Ibn Kathir speak about it. She did dress him. She color his beard blonde. Nothing is showing on my screen. You will see it. Nothing is showing on my screen. You will see it in a second. Here we go. The book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya. I'm showing it in Arabic and now I'm going to click and translate to English. Here we go. So you can see. She she changed the color of his beard. This is Shia. No, this is just a Shia. This is from Shia. No, this is Shia website, but the but the book is the book of Ibn Kathir. This is just a website, library. You know? This is just a library. Oh, okay. Ibn Kathir, see it says Ibn Kathir, part number two, very number two, page number three, six one. So she dressed her father, she colored his beard with yellow, and she made him drink wine. She drunk him. Do you see it? Uh, I, I, wait, just one second. It's not showing my screen yet. Hmm. Khadija father's a suit and his beard and his... Because the Arab, you know, when they, get, when they have a wedding party, they do this. So Khadija, look how evil she is with Muhammad. They made the man drunk. When he is drunk, they color his beard. They made, they change his clothes. And then when he woke up, he said, "Why I'm wearing this clothes?" She said, "What you forgot? Last night we have a party. You married me to Muhammad." He said, "No, I did not." <laughs> and even the story here says, "Was and she made her father drink wine to drunk get it drunk." Hatta thamila. What kind of prophet he is? And this is Ibn Kathir. And there's tons of books speaking about the same story. Look how many books, look. <sighs> look, all of those books are speaking about this story. What kind of prophet he is. But History of Damascus. <laughs> look at this. But what? Maybe it's a fabrication because at my that friend, time my friend, the my prophet friend, my friend, Muhammad my, he was my, my friend Ibn he wasn't a prophet back Ibn Kathir and your Muslim scholars they will write a story which is a lie about Muhammad. Imagine I go now in TV and I make a story up about Muhammad and I live in Islamic countries they will kill me in two seconds you know that. Anyone killed Ibn Kathir? Anyone yeah. killed? Anyone, no. anyone killed those who wrote this story? Nobody killed them. Why? Because this is what the story is. The scholars, no, they, are, right. they are proud about Muhammad for doing that. He's a wonderful, he's a smart. He deceived his father-in-law. He made him a drunk, you know? <sighs> this is a religion of God, and this is a prophet of God. If this is a prophet of God, so what the scam is? So my friend, is it time for you to say, I am out of Islam, be honest. It's hard, man. You don't understand. It doesn't matter how hard it is. If it's false, it's false. I mean, who cares about how hard it is? You know, I mean, uh, there's nothing. Who said it's easy? But is it false or not? 
If Islam is false, it's false. If it's good, it's good. And it doesn't need to do with hard and easy. Then why do Muslims say that the Prophet Muhammad he is the best of mankind? Because they worship him. He is the are, best. My friend, is the this best. is all a propaganda. Who dare to question? The second you question, you find. The second you read the books and you question, you find that this is absolutely false. Isn't it your Prophet? He went to his own son house when the wife she was alone and he flirted with her. What do you think if your father? Come on, your man! House? Don't say that, man. Uh, we, are, we don't want to open a story after a story. That's not true. This is absolutely true. What if I show you what you will do? Are we going to keep jumping like monkeys? Because look like you will not you will not say I'm out of this time. I keep showing you things one after one after one and you are making excuse. So you're telling me that the Prophet Muhammad he but the Prophet Muhammad he never had a son. No, he only had daughters. No, he have a son from adoption. His name is Zaid and the Quran speak about him. From a his he has an adopted son. Yes. He went to his son's wife when she was alone, and he flirted with her. He saw her wearing see-through clothes, and he said, Praise be to Allah, the, the, the one who made my heart flip for you. See, now, now, now you're just saying that he didn't flirt with him, didn't flirt with her. Well, I am not the one who's saying that. You know, this is what your religion is saying, my friend. This is what your book says. I'm going to make a final offer. If I show you what I am saying right now, am I going to have a promise of a man to leave Islam or you are just, you know, wasting my time? In the front of everybody. Oh, man. If I show you Muhammad, he went to the house, he found Zainab, and it says that he saw Zainab and she was standing and she was very white and she is big and beautiful from the most perfect women of Quraysh. Fahawiha. You know what Hawiha mean? No, I don't I don't know Arabic words. Okay, Hawiha mean he loved her. Here we go, read with me carefully. <laughs> this is this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. This can't be true, man. That can't, this can't be true. Uthman, don't waste my time, my friend. This is al Qurtubi in front of you, page number 43423. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm going to post it in the chat. And here it says that the Messenger of Allah. I can't see anything. You will see it in a second. It says, Waqala Muqatil. Uh, so the Prophet he married uh, uh, Zainab to uh, to Zaid, and and she lived with him, and then one day, peace be upon him, he came to Zaid, seeking him, and he saw Zainab standing, and she was white and big and beautiful from the most perfect women of Quraysh, Fahawiha, for he fell in love with her. He lost, he have a lost with her. And then he said, وَقَالَ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهُ مُقَلِّبُ الْقُلُوبِ Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. So Zainab, she heard him praising Allah for her beauty. So she told Zaid, Zaid, he said to her, he went to Muhammad, he said, please let me divorce her. He noticed that his father is a flirting and maybe he is having sex with his wife already. Let's click in the front of everybody and translate to Google translation. Shall we do that? Do you want me to give you the link? In Paltok, so you can do it from your side. Let me give it to you. Uh, no, no, I will give it to you. Here we go. I will give you the yes, link. Sir. Okay, go in there, and when you open, yes, it, open, sir, open it with Google Browser, you know, any Google Browser, and then you click in the side of the page. Give me one the second. Let me translate it. Yeah, and then you click at Google, and you will find it says, you click in the white space, because in the middle there's a script, will not allow it to go to translation. Click here in the side, it says translate to English. Here we go. And then you will see it says the following.
in order to find it right away search for the word search for the word white after you translate to english search for the white word white you will see it says here that uh, uh peace be upon him which means muhammad he came to zaid one day seeking him yeah. seeking for him so Zainab, yeah, I, so, yeah. so he saw Zainab standing and she was so was a, a beautiful white and massive you know the Arab at that time they used to like the women who they are big like I don't want to use the word fat but the bigger they are the more healthy they are so if a woman she is skinny nobody will marry her she's sick you know so at that time if she is so big that's that's that that is the one so she's so big she's massive and she is so white. This is what every man want in the Arab time. So, and was the most perfect woman of Quraysh. Look how big she is. So he not blow her. He fall in love with her. He sorry. He have lost with her. Hawiha. Translation. He is saying blow her. And he said, a "Glory to Allah, the one who made my heart break for you, or flip my heart for you." Do you see it? Yeah, man, I see it. Okay. And then Zaid, she came, you know, and Zainab, she heard him. She heard what he said. So she told her husband, and the husband right away, he got it. Okay, I got it. Uh, my father is sleeping with my wife already. And obviously she is a whore. Because a woman, she have honor. She will say to him, shame on you to flirt with married women. Only a whore, she will not open her mouth against such a statement she heard the guy she heard the guy in her house and he is the father of her husband and he is a flirting with her she like it she love it and not only that Zainab she said that after that Allah each time her husband he tried to have sex with her Allah he made his penis swell Allah he made the penis of the husband swell oh man this is too much hmm. but at least Allah he made the miracle he made the penis of the guy swell you know think about it that's an amazing miracle thank God I'm not married otherwise if Muhammad liked my wife my penis would end so swelling I cannot handle that This is just really bad, man. Read carefully. This here is with just me. bad. Read carefully with me here. It says, Zainab, obviously, she is a whore. She is promoting, she is claiming that this is a miracle from God, she said. Uh, oh. That that in the narration of Zaid, that Zaid, is, his penis is swelled. You see, the translation is very, very funny. So, Zaid, is, uh, his penis is swelled. Each time he tried to have sex with her, he get it close to her, his penis get big. He swear, oh, it's hurting. And she said that this is happening because of Allah. Do you see it? You have a God who make penises swell, my friend Uthman. You have a very unique God. Oh, this is... Okay, so is it time for you to say I'm out of Islam, Uthman, or what? If I leave, they will kill me. Well, my friend, nobody knows who you are anyway. So, actually, you leave or not, if you say I'm leaving or not, already you left, I can't tell. You are just scared to say it. That's all the story. You're already out. You said it's silly, you said it's stupid, you said this doesn't make sense, you said this is bad. I mean, what is more to agree? Already you left Islam. And nobody knows who you are. You are out. Because here, if what? because here, if I leave the religion, they will kill me or put me in prison. My friend, you do not need to tell them until God he open doors for you. Maybe you leave to a different country, God will open doors for you. But don't be a fool and follow a fool. That's not the right thing to do. How could he be a prophet if he does these things? He cannot. That's what I'm saying. 
Then why are there so many Muslims and so many people uh, converting from Christianity to Islam? They are a bunch of fools. So, uh, uh, the, all of these... the second they see the truth, my friend, they leave. And that's what happened to you today. You call, you know, you you insulted me when you start talking to me. You call me Mr. Israel. And look at you now. What happened? You call me Mr. Israel. The first text you gave me, it was Mr. Israel. You are here to debate with me because supposedly I am a liar according to you. So all those who they claim to be converting, they are a bunch of fools. Either they are foolish or uh, they are seeking a benefit. You know, there's many like in YouTube. They knew if they say they convert to Islam, a lot of subscribers, a lot of ad, a lot of donation. It's a business. But for us, it's not. Not for you, not for me. If I am you, I will not hesitate. Already you are out of Islam. What are you what are you waiting for? So what? There's not God doesn't exist? No, God doesn't exist? No, absolutely God exists. Who said that? I never say that. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Absolutely I believe in God. If God is not is not exist, I will not be exist. So, but you live in man God, Jesus. Well, you know, you man know, God. Let us talk about this after we finish with you regarding if you are living Islam or not. Are you living Islam or not? I'm not asking you yet to believe in Jesus. I did not say anything about Jesus yet. Let us finish what we started. Based on what we provide to you and what you saw with your own eyes, Allah cannot be God. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, thank it, you very it, much. It can't be the word of God. All right, thank you. I'm happy for you that you left Islam. Now let's go about Jesus. I'm very happy to our friend Uthman. I pray to the Lord. He will open his eyes more. He will open his heart more. And he will believe in the truth and the truth will set him free. Now let us talk about Jesus. You said you believe in the God who is a man, correct? Yeah, and that Mary is the mother of God. That so what? God has mother, father, okay, sister. Okay, I, I will go with you. No, when we say uh, Mary is the mother of God, simply she is the mother of Jesus, who was born as a man. But because Jesus is God, so people they say the mother of God. But the fact God have no mother. This is why you see when Jesus he speak to Mary, and he, when he speak to others, like he never called his mother mother. Can you believe it? He never said to his mother mother. When she came to him and she asked him to do a miracle in the wedding, there's a wedding, he said to her, what do you want from me, women? Ask anyone, what kind of a person? He said to his mother, women. Why he said to her, women? Did you ask yourself? For he is the Lord of this woman. So he is born of the women, yes, but he is not from any. He is not the son of any man. He is not the son of any woman. He is born from her by the flesh. That's why you see Jesus says, I am from above, you are from below. So if God is being a man is a problem, then God cannot be God anyway, because if God cannot be whatever he wished to be, then God cannot be powerful and almighty. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, one thing that that never made sense for me okay. in the Quran it says that uh, because I spoke to my sheikh about this uh, this verse in the Quran it says that uh, that Isa is the word of God. Mm. I spoke to my sheikh about this. I to I told him what does this mean? He says that this just means he's the messenger, like the messenger of God. Mm. But but uh, it doesn't but, make sense. But Muhammad is not the word of God, correct? I told him. I told him. Whatever, uh, Prophet Muhammad. He said, "All of them are, are, are the word of God." But it doesn't say in the Quran that he's the word of God. It just says Isa is the word of God. Exactly. Only one person. And when I tell them, when I, when I, there's only one person. And when I told him friend. about this, he said, "Yeah." He says that, that the word of God it means that he's just a messenger. But that's but mean, it's, but, but that's it's mean, illogical. But Muhammad should be the word of God then too. 
but as you know that this is a title only given to Jesus. He is the only person who is called the Word of God. And this is in total agreement with the book of John, chapter number one, verse number one. It says in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is the God. And then in verse number 14 it says, and the Word became a flesh, that is Jesus. So Jesus is the Word of God. Can you show me on screen? Huh? <clears throat> Sorry? What what did you say? Can I look it up? What Where can I find that? Yeah, you can go to John chapter 1. John chapter 1. John chapter 1. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Yeah, that's exactly and, what the Quran says. And the Word is what? Do you see with me what it says? And the Word that is the what? Word. And the Word is what? The word is God. It was God. So it says here was. Do you see the word was? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what happened here with this was? Why it says was? Because the word later in verse number 14 says became a flesh. That is Jesus. The word became flesh. So Maybe. Muhammad is a thief. He stole that from the chapter from, from the book of John. That Jesus is the word of God, which became a flesh. It's a word sent by Allah down to Mary. And that word became a man. His name is Jesus. Wonderful. Now, as long the word of God is God, that means Jesus is the word of God. He's God. God and his word is one. If you ask any Muslim, and you, are, you used to be a Muslim five minutes ago, is the word of God created? They will say no. So is Jesus created? No. He's not. He's born of Mary. He's not created. He exists before Abraham. Jesus says, before Abraham I am. If you go to John, the same chapter, we, the same book we are reading from, if you go to John, read it from chapter, read chapter 8. Verse number 23, 24, 25, 26, etc. You will see Jesus said something very strange. He said to them, you are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Do you see it, my friend, this man? Do you see it? Don't the shake, they lie, they say, uh, where, nothing don't the shake, they lie, they say, where Jesus says, I am God. No. They lie. He said, I am from above. I'm not from this they, world. They... Is, Muhammad from, is Muhammad from above? No. Is Adam from above? No. Jesus made it clear. You are from beneath, speaking to human being in front of him, the Jews. I am from above. I am from different place. You are of this world. I am not of this world. How clear we can make it? And who is the one talking? Jesus. So, Uthman, think with me. If God decide to be something, are you going to say to him why you can be that? Are you going to question? I mean, the second you believe in God to be almighty, do you believe God is almighty? Or is limited? Yeah, God is... Okay, so, no, no, he's almighty, he's okay, powerful. Okay, al almighty mean he can be whatever he wish. That's what the almighty mean. So when the Muslim they say God can't be a man, that means God cannot be God too. Because God can be whatever he is. No, but what... I mean, I... What I, I, Muslims say, yeah. what, what, what Muslims say is that saying that God cannot be a human because it doesn't fit his majesty. Exactly. Thank you it's very much. Like a... let, let, let us see how that works. So because it doesn't fit his majesty, he can't be a human. So that's not because he is cannot be a human, but because it doesn't fit his majesty. Okay, what happened if you became a human? Jesus in the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, he is a human, yet the Quran says he's holy. How he is a holy if he is a human? Not a single place in the Quran says Muhammad is holy. Actually, the Quran says that may Allah forgive to Muhammad your past sin and your sin to come. But in the case of Jesus, Jesus is born holy. Jesus, not only he is a person who did tons of miracles, he himself is the miracle. 
correct? But isn't God is a miracle? Yeah, no. that's correct. Okay, Jesus is a miracle. He is the miracle. Not only he do miracles, he is the miracle. 